Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. So I did this design on myself um, about two weeks ago. Um, everyone went mad for it on Instagram and Facebook. I didn't record it on myself because I do struggle to do my own nails and record at the same time. So I didn't but luckily a client of mine loved them as well and wanted them so I thought I would record it for you. I think this may be my first gel polish set that I've recorded for you guys. So I'm just coming in. I decided not to show you the pinky and the ring finger just because it's all very much the same. I'm just laying down, well building the nail with Peachabelle Soft from Glitterbells which is my it's definitely my go-to cover powder. It is, I think, the easiest to work with. It's so mouldable and beautiful. And I just really like the colour. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just perfect, to be honest. So I'm doing the pinky, the ring finger, the index finger, and the thumb in Peach Bell Soft. I'm not going to cap these ones, so I'm building the nail with this uh, powder. And then the middle finger, I've just put down a clear layer because it's going to have some glitter on it. So yeah, this is just what we're doing at the minute. I didn't feel like you needed to see me put Peachabell Soft down on all the nails, so I thought we'd start just show you two of them. And then, so I have put down a clear layer already, and now I'm coming in with Shannon, which is a pre-mixed glitter from Glitter Bells. It's one of the Ambassador glitters. It's a stunning, stunning rose gold colour with flecks of hollow in it. Very fine glitter. It's just beautiful. It really is really gorgeous. It's definitely been one of the more popular ones. I am today going to do a swatch video on all the Glitter Bells Ambassador Collection, so I should have that up for you soon, by this afternoon sometime. So just make, oh, yeah, just making sure that was all covered nicely, and now I'm just capping this nail with my glass slippers. You should always uh, sandwich glitter because there's no strength in glitter, not really. Um, so put the clear base, then clear on top and that's where you get your strength. So now I am coming in with my Glitter Bells gel polish, which is just beautiful. I will leave a little clip at the end of both the gel polishes I'm using. This one is called Put Me On. It's just a gorgeous pinky nude colour. It, it really is one of my favourites. That's why I've got it on my nails. So I'm doing it on the ring finger, the index finger and the thumb. So nice thin coats. So that cures lovely. I'm just wiping down the sides to make sure that it doesn't pull into the sides and ruin my shape. And this one is also just stunningly beautiful. It's called Temptress. And I am in love with it. To be honest, all I've got, I think I've got about 25 of the gel polishes now. And I have to say that they are all amazing. Everyone that I've used so far is beautiful. So I've cured them for uh, 60 seconds in my LED, but I do know that they say you can do it for 30 seconds. It's just habit. My lamp, when you put your hand in my lamp, it automatically sets off going for 60 seconds. And by the time I've done the other hand, it's just, fi it's just finishing. So I, yeah, I just leave it in for 60 seconds. I only cap the free edge, the end of the nail once. 
And then here is Temptress again. So now I'm taking Temptress and a dotting tool and I'm just putting some blobs on this nail. They don't want to be perfectly round and they don't want to be too close together. And then I'm just doing some blobs down at the side of this nail. And now I'm taking my stripy brush from Ink London and I'm using black gloss from Glitter Bells. Yes, it was black gloss. And I am just dabbing tiny little brush strokes round the, uh, round the blobs. <laughs> it's really hard to explain, but you can see what I'm doing. And then, as always, when recording, something goes wrong every time. So, yeah, it's just really simple. Don't make them all the same. Change it up a bit. Different shapes, different sizes, that kind of jazz. And just, just go with it. There's no... <clears throat> sorry. There's no right... Or wrong way really with leopard print as long as as long as you do the colored bits and then outline them in black and then I like to go in after and do a few just plain black ones So who loves leopard print? Please let me know in the comment section if you are a massive leopard print fan. I am a massive leopard print fan. I do love a bit of leopard print. Um, yeah, I just, I, and it's so popular with nails at the minute. It's so weird how trends come back round. When I first qualified as a nail technician 10 years ago, um, shellac and gel polish was just being released and gel, it, gel polish obviously makes nail art much easier to do and it was really popular and then it went out of fashion and now it's back with a vengeance and everybody's loving it so yeah as you can see sorry totally off subject there <laughs> um as you can see i'm just adding black between the blobs just to sort of break up break it all up i'm just doing exactly the same here Just going round these with a tiny little dabbing motion. Yep. And again, you don't need much on your brush at all. Just the tiniest bit. super cute i love this i just love leopard print i need to do another another leopard print design so anyway now i'm going to top coat these nails just beautiful just using my glitter bells no wipe top coat And here is Shannon in all her glory. She's just stunning. I love like the side swoop leopard print. Definitely gonna do that again. <laughs> Don't you just hate hairs with gel polish? It's the one thing that I don't miss when I don't use gel polish. <laughs> Little tiny hairs. 
so yeah anyway this is the end of the video i hope you like it it was short and sweet and if you do do a similar design please tag me because i love to see your work and yeah give me a thumbs up thanks for watching bye